If you use assessments as part of your Schoology courses, there is a feature within Schoology resources that can help you create assessments quicker. So what they have recently added is something called item banks. And item banks allow you to create questions within resources and then pull them into an assessment or multiple assessments. So the way that you can do this is by going into your resources section, which I'm at right now, and you can add item banks, or they're also known as question banks, um, in either your personal resources or your group resources. In your personal resources, only you would have access to them. If you are part of a group and all of the people in your group have admin access, you can create an item bank in that group as well, and then everybody would have the ability to add questions to the item bank and also use those questions. So to start, we're just going to start creating an item bank in my personal resources. So I have a number of different collections in my resources, and I can see here I created a collection called Grade 8 Assessments. If you don't have any collections created, and collections is really just another word for full it's a way to organize your personal resources. I'm going to come down over here to grade 8 assessments and I already have one item bank with some algebra questions. So to cr create an item bank all you're going to do is click on add resources within any of your collections and then you're going to go down to add item bank. Do not confuse this with add question bank. This refers to old test quiz features that we're not using in school. So you're going to come over here to add item test bank and you're going to give this a name. So let's say these questions all have to do with decimals. You can put a description, but it's not required. And then you're going to click create. So the bank has been created. So now this brings us to a screen that looks very similar to when you are building an assessment. Um, you cannot go to an assessment and take questions that you have already created and pull them in. It doesn't work that way yet, but it's something that they are talking about doing. So you would have to create all your questions here and then you would be able to do it the opposite way when you create an assessment add those questions over and I'll show you what I mean. So you're going to create your questions like you normally would by choosing the type of question that you're going to add. So let's just say we have a multiple choice question here. So we're going to put in our question. So I've put in my question, I put in my answer choices, I've selected the correct choice, and then I'm going to save this question. So I've now added one question to my decimals item bank. So I'm going to hop on over to one of my courses, and even though I just have one question, I just want to show you how you would be able to pull questions in from your various item banks and put them into an existing or new assessment. So now I'm in one of my courses. I'm going to create an assessment so that I can pull questions from my item bank. So I'm just going to pull this my test assessment. And just for the sake of it, date. Okay, so we're just going to uncheck this and we're going to create the assessment. Oops, we need to pick a category and then create. Once you have your assessment created and you have the setup created the way you want, what you're going to do is come over to questions and now you will see on the left hand side, in addition to adding questions here manually as you normally would, you can pull them from an item bank. So you can come over to the item bank and now depending on where you have created your item bank, whether it's in your personal resources or it's within a group, you can then pull those. So you can see here, here are all my collections and I know that I have my, um, my questions in one of my banks. So I'm just going to click on one of the banks and I have my two collections here and here's the decimal one that I just created. So if I had a bunch of questions in here, I could check them all off and import them all at once, which is a big time saver. Um, so you can do that and then you can copy this test over to all of your other sections if your sections aren't linked. So it makes creating an assessment very easy if you put all the questions in the item bank first and then you can just pull them all over um, all at once. And if you do it in groups, you can, again, you can share questions by creating an item bank in groups and then everybody in who is in that group who has admin access will be able to add questions and you'll be able to pull those questions as well. So I'm just going to click add item and now you can see the question is here. Change to this particular question. Um, let's say you modify it 
it will make the change in this assessment, but it will not make a change in the original one that you created in the item bank. You basically just created a carbon copy of the question. It doesn't, it's not linked to the original, so you don't have to worry about making the change there. Some of the additional features that I've read that Schoology is working on in terms of item bank is going to be the ability to randomly pull questions from the bank and then automatically put them into an assessment so it's a little bit more randomized. Um, the ability to, if you already have assessments, to take questions that are already in assessment and push them into an item bank. That's something else that they said that they're work working on. Um, and also to copy an item bank so that you can make a duplicate copy if necessary. So those are some things that are coming soon to item banks.